Hey Stampers, it's Robin Mud with Simple Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make my little gift cards. Um, I've had several of you, I put these on my Instagram, and I've had several of you ask me how to do it, if I would do a video on it, and I've already done a few steps ahead, because it takes so long for me to do it, so I thought that maybe you guys might like to see it so this morning while everything is quiet in the house I decided to get up and show you all how to make them so the first thing you need to have is your uh, stamping up and I don't, this isn't available anymore you can probably find it on eBay um, it's a big L holiday stocking and this is what it looks like when you cut it out and I mix and match mine a lot so I've already cut out a bunch more to do but some of this paper is really flimsy so what I'll do is I'll cut out some of this in just a white and then I'll glue it on the back of here just like that you're never going to see it anyway but you know at least you know that yours because uh, when I make my things I want to make them to last so that's why I'm, I'm doing that um, it just takes a few more extra steps but you know people seem to enjoy it okay this is going to be the front of this card and I love the vintage shabby chic kind of thing so and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut your heels and your toes out and you have to be careful when you cut this if you're going to make it a printed because you have to cut one up and one down. That way you'll have one for both sides. And I'm going to take my handy dandy glue here that you all know that I get at the Dollar Tree. And I'll be darned, I think I flipped it on the wrong side. Well, it's an easy fix. I fix it all the time because I'm always doing something to mess this up. So. I should have looked. Um, see, that's why I told you I went on and did some of the steps because it's, um, you know, it, if you mess up, so what? You know, just do it again. And I like to go around them with my um, ink because, I, like I said, I like the shabby chic look to it. And after this dries, you'll never be able to see that I boo booed anyway. So, you know, just take a little bit of ink and go over it. It's fine. Y'all know that's how I roll. If I mess it up, then I fix it and do it again. Because you can't keep throwing your paper away all the time. But, you know, if you make a mistake, so what? You know, it's just paper. And if you get a little bit of glue on it, that's no problem. And then what I'm going to do is I have um, a Starbucks that I've used up. My grandkids gave it to me. So I'm going to place that right there so I know where not to put my glue. So then you want to go around it just like this. And you can go up in here with it, but don't go too far because you don't want that car to get caught on it. I think it's a little close right there. And you'll have to excuse my desk because I've been working like a little maniac trying to get stuff ready and get stuff done. And then you just want to put that together. Now, I've seen other people do this a different way, but this way just happens to be the easiest for me. And then I take my brayer and I go over it to make sure I get all the bubbles out of it. So then I turn it over like this. And I make sure to put the sides down. Because you're going to want those to be glued down really well because that's what's going to hold your card in. And then I make sure I glue it down really tight. 
And I know you see a little, you know, pieces back here, but it's no big deal. When you get finished, you'll never see them. Then after I get that in there, I always stick my card back in, just to make absolutely sure. Okay, now you're ready to do the other side. So I've already inked this, but I'll ink it a little bit more because you can't really see it real well. And you want to put your glue right here. And you're going to want to put some glue right there. And I mean, this doesn't take any time at all, but I'm real particular, and if I don't like something, then I'll tear it apart and redo it. My husband thinks I'm terrible, but, you know, if people are going to hang this on their tree and give it to their friends and relatives and things, I want it to look good. I don't want it to look like, you know, that they got it at a grocery store or something. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not the way I roll. I like my stuff to be, you know, together. And then, like I told you, like here on the end, if you've got a little bit hanging over and the ink won't cover it, then all you have to do is take it and trim it. Just make sure you don't cut up in there too far. And then just trim it a little bit more right down through there. It's not going to hurt a thing. And then go back over it with your ink, you know, just a little bit. Okay, and then what I do is I check both the sides, make sure that it's all good. And go back over it. Because, like I said, I like mine to look vintage, kind of shabby chic a little bit. But, you know, I just happen to like that kind of stuff. If it's not going to stick, then I'll put like a little clothespins on it. But I'll go back and restick this later if it doesn't uh, stick down. And then I will pick out two colors in there. In this case, it's red and green. So I'm going to leave some here and I'm going to wrap it around until it leaves me, you know, a pretty good amount. And then I'm going to put some gold on here I think to wrap this around here because you can get these I got these last year um, when they were on sale at Michael's um, just because I wanted to make sure that I had them for this year because um, one year I went to get some and they were all sold out so you know, I want to make sure that I have them. And I leave some for other people, you know, unless I need that many. And then if I need that many, then that's what I'm going to buy because, you know, I have to get my craft items ready. So then there you have your little balls on there. Bells. I'm so sorry. Bells, 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 bells. Bells, bells, and more bells. And I decided to put a little Santa Claus on here. Well, I'm going to put him kind of more over to this side because that's where my hole is going to be. And um, we're going to put our Merry Christmas right here. So I'm going to use some pop-ups. I'm kind of stingy with these because these are about the only um, Stampin' Up! ones that I have left. Um... But when I do these, I want to make sure I put plenty of them on there because I do not want them to come off. And it's hard to slide this down in there, so usually I will take the top ones off just like this. Slide that one down in there so I know it'll slide down. And then go back, pull it up, and pop that off. And then I've already inked around my Merry Christmas this Merry Christmas stamp is a um, May May Made It. You can find it on her website at maymaymadeit.com. 
I think that's what it is. If not, you can go to her videos. It's May May Made It. And uh, this is a Simon Says stamp set. And I bought the dies uh, that went with it. Because at the time, I didn't have my scanning cut. So, now, I don't hardly buy dies at all because um, I have a scanning cut. And if I can do it with my scanning cut, then that's what I'll use. But still, there are some things that you can't cut with a scanning cut. So... And believe me, I have tried every way in the world to um, figure it out. So, we're going to get all this put on here. And then, we're going to put him right here. Then, I'm going to take my hole punch. Y'all tell my desk is just a dabbling mess because when I work, I'm messy. That's just all this to it. That's the way I roll. As my granddaughter says. So, I'm going to take a little piece of the green to put through here for them to hang it on the tree. Because when people give gift cards, they don't want to just lay them down, you know, where the presents are and things. It just That's just not good. Because if they're like my kids, you know, when they go through them, they lose them. So, um, you want to make sure you've got it on your tree. Now, where this little gift card goes, you could stop there if you wanted to. But I take the a little piece of the added um, paper that I made this out of, the body of it, and I cut it three and a fourth three and a quarter, I'm so sorry, I'm my husband's, I know he's never listening, three and a quarter by two, and then I put it through my Stampin' Up uh, punch, and um, I put it through that, and then I will take um, a different piece of the green, or you can put blue, you know, if you're using blue, you know, whatever, go through there, pop it on there, and then I'm waiting for my to and from to get here because I bought a new stamp that has to and from on it. And it's really pretty. It's more like a cursive. So then you open this up, stick it down in there. You can stick it this way. And there it is. It's all done. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. God love you. God bless you. And hugs from Kentucky.